Well, hey, good morning and welcome back to Log Cabin Firewood. Today on the channel, we got cherry. We're gonna be ripping into this pile. Let's see how much we can get done. Stick around. So I guess this pile's been over here about a month now. Uh, I am a bunch of weeks ahead on videos due to my overtime schedule going on vacation. Uh, three weeks ago now, we went down to uh, North Carolina, hung out on the beaches, went to Bald Head Island, went to Southport, went to Wilmington, went to a bunch of different places down there to a uh, family house of ours. And uh, Darren and I just enjoyed each other's company and it was a very relaxing, I think, seven or eight days. And uh, the week before I left for that, we actually got this load of wood and this was the stuff that we picked up from Brad uh, with Blandford Tree Service and Firewood at the Furnace. Um, I bought this load for 350 bucks. Uh, this was way bigger than that other load that I bought. So I'm gonna say there's probably a good three and a half cords in here. Um, I will have this stuff stacked up so you will see what this is going to end up being. Um, I've already started cutting on some of this, but there are gonna be some cookies already. Um, I wasn't going to record anything because it's getting ready to rain, but I figured I may as well record since this is a pretty cool pile of wood. It's not very often that you get an entire load of cherry. And this truck, I feel like it was a lot more full um, due to some of the smaller pieces in here. That first load Brad brought me was all good, good sized chunks like that. Yes, there's more wood in those, but you could fill the truck up better with smaller pieces. So I don't know. To me, this just looks like a bigger load. Let's quit yapping and get some souls fired up. So it has been over 100 degrees the past few days, uh, like <laughs> extreme humidity. But uh, I got a, a good, good bit of this cut up now. It's probably almost a dump trailer full. Eh, yeah, probably almost a dump trailer full. And I only put one tank of fuel through this. And we got about, that is about five feet into the runners here. Doesn't look like that in the camera, but that's about five feet there. And there was a couple logs sitting here, just little like three foot pieces. It's starting to rain out here. And I'm probably gonna put the camera away. I'm probably gonna run one more tank through this, but we will definitely bring you back when I get this uh, stuff loaded up and split. We are back next door again. A uh, couple days later, we had uh, that storm Debbie come through and I tried to get out here yesterday and every time I walked out the door, it started dumping on me. And it really wasn't a heavy rain, but it was like a heavy mist, but it was like nonstop. And I was like, I'm not coming out here to play with this. 
but we have probably a little more than half to finish up of this pile of cherry this is the stuff we finished up the other day so let's get the uh, 044 fired up and ripping into some of this cherry Well, I tried to uh, use my log roller, my PV, to get this big one down off the top, but over on this end, it gets really wide and it's kind of stuck in there by this piece here. So I had to walk across the street and get my keys and uh, we're gonna use some hydraulics to get this down. When you're working a pile like this, it can become very dangerous. This log is probably, I don't know, over 2000 pounds. If it comes down on my little scrawny leg, I'm done. It's going to break my leg, it's going to break my foot, my femur, whatever. So you got to be careful when you're working a log pile. If you have hydraulics, use them. There's always a the right tool for the job. And right now, this is not it. This was uh, the biggest piece in the pile and that other end is like flared out so it didn't want to come out where it was like lodged in up here. 
but it was no problem for this Sani SY80U mini excavator. Well, I don't know. I don't know if this is still considered the mini excavator, if this goes into like the intermediate levels. But let's get the salt fire back up and get into this big piece. That was one tank through the 044 and then I fired up the 500 I would probably half a tank through that I don't think uh, well actually we're probably halfway through this pile now so I am going to go get my dump trailer because I didn't bring it over here with me and I'm gonna start loading some of this stuff up um, that way I'm not over here tripping and working around all this stuff it's uh getting a little tiring uh, picking it up and moving it so we'll just use the excavator to load the trailer and continue cutting it a little bit and plus it's about 90 degrees out here so that'll give the soils a chance to cool down while i'm gone This is a really good load of cherry. I'm gonna say there's probably uh, a touch over a cord here, maybe a cord and a half. You will find out though when I split it. There's still probably half of the pile here. So we're probably looking at a good three cord between this and this. Hey, and I don't care what your uh, neighbors or buddies say, don't be that guy that borrows your neighbor's stuff and doesn't put fuel back in his equipment. I don't care if they tell you don't worry about it. They let you borrow something that you didn't have. The least you can do is put fuel back in their machine. Take care of each other. This is a really nice load of cherry. It's not every day that you can get an entire load of cherry. You know, I, I'm recording several weeks ahead, so I'm only a couple days from last week's video. Taryn's birthday is coming up in like a couple days, but by the time you see this, it was like three weeks ago. So I really don't want to have a mess here in the driveway because she is having a fairy 40th birthday party. I mean, uh, 29, she's turning 29. And she said, uh, can you do me a favor and not have a bunch of mess in the driveway? And I said, yeah, I think I could do that. So I might go cut the other stuff, which you'll see here in a second, and we'll get this split up. And then after her party, I have to start digging the lines for my central boiler 760 HDX. We pulled the trigger on that last month and wrote a check for that. And uh, 
I told my dealer, you know, due to her party, I couldn't destroy the backyard where I just got grass growing. And uh, Matt from Lily's Farm and Firewood, I'm never going to cut my grass four inches plus. If anything, I'm going two and three quarters plus, three inch max. But uh, Taryn asked me not to destroy the yard because the boiler will end up going right here. This sidewalk's gonna end up coming out. My lead walk to my garage is gonna come out. We're gonna pour new concrete there. We're gonna pour a new concrete pad here. I'm probably gonna go 20 by 20 here with eventually where we'll put a building, you know, just like a stick pole barn over it. But, you know, the underground line has to come up this way and I'm probably gonna run it right where this sidewalk is and then go into the house. But I'm also gonna run conduit to the boiler and to my shed while I'm destroying everything. And then I can get some more topsoil and regrade this again. And hopefully that's the last time I have to grade it. But I can't wait to get this boiler in. Hopefully by the time I go to the Paul Bunyan show, this thing is up and running or at least here and ready to go in because uh, you don't know if it's gonna be cold enough to turn that thing on. This is gonna be a huge learning experience for me, but I'm super excited to get the fire out of my basement. The bugs, not really that I have bugs, but you know, yes, you do bring spiders in sometimes. Um, and we always capture them and release them because wolf spiders are amazing creatures, don't kill spiders. But uh, the smoke, the dust, We'll actually be able to utilize our basement because me installing that uh, furnace that's down there now kind of took the availability for the basement in the wintertime because it was literally 95 degrees down there, 80 on my first floor and 70 to 75 on my second floor. And that furnace did an awesome job, but the new one's going to be right here and I can't wait. But hey guys, that's going to be it for this week. We're going to continue cutting this cherry next week and get some of it split up. Um, I got to go to work again, go figure, uh, got to make that money so I can pay for the boiler, but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you guys smash that like button and then there's going to be some videos over here, some previous videos, go check them out. There's a bunch of videos from, you know, me starting this whole adventure all the way up until now. And yeah, I'd appreciate it if you guys go check a couple of them out. Have a great week. Stay safe, take care of each other, and I will see you back here next Saturday at 6.30 a.m. See ya, and thank you so much for watching.